Hi everyone. Uh, hope you all uh, hope you're all well and staying safe. Um, what we're going to do today is a quick little activity. Uh, it won't take you very long at all. There's a few bits and bobs that you might have uh, around the home. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a weather station. So all you budding meteorologists out there can go in your back gardens, your backyards, and get cracking. Uh, what I'll do now, I'll hand you over to Becky, who will show you how to make your weather station. Thank you. Hello everyone, so today we're going to make the weather station out of things you can find in your uh, house. So first off you'll need a bottle, doesn't really matter what size it is, just got a small one here. If you can find one or you have one at home, a pine cone and then some ribbon or plastic or something that will float in the wind. Now. You are going to need to use scissors for this first bit with the bottle, so make sure you've got a responsible adult with you chopping this for you. So what we're going to do is cut the top off it like this. Now do be aware, because it might be a bit sharp, so just grab the bit that flew away, and we're gonna pop that inside the bottle like this because this is going to work as your funnel for your rain gauge. So using a bit of sellotape, we're going to secure that into place so it doesn't drop off. And then using a ruler, so you can see how much rain you've had, starting from the bottom. You can see here, I'm gonna put a mark at every centimetre. That way, when it rains, you'll be able to see exactly how much rain it ha we've had. Hopefully we don't get that much, but uh, it gives you an idea and then you can see what, what we've had. And then simply, when it's full and you're ready to record again, just tip it upside down to pour the water away. So that's one. Make sure you pop that down somewhere where it's not in a windy spot so it doesn't blow away. You don't want to put anything in there to tie it down either because that'll affect your water level. So somewhere sheltered. Next, a very simple one. You're going to tie a piece of string or ribbon around a pine cone. Doesn't have to be this big. So pine cones react to atmospheric pressure. So if it's going to rain, the pine cone will close up to keep the seeds nice and dry. But if it's going to be nice weather, the pine cones will open up so that the wind can blow the seeds away. So even though the seeds have gone, it will still react to that. So you can just hang this up and that'll give you an idea as to whether to do something inside or go play in the garden. Then finally, I've got ribbon for this, but you just want anything that'll flutter in the wind. This could be a plastic bag, um, something light, something recycled. And I'm using a stick that I found. However, you could use a stick, a straw, a pen, anything like that. And I'm going to tie the ribbon around it. You could do a couple of strands if you wanted. So I'm just knotting it into place like that. Again, get your responsible adult to cut off a strip and then in the wind that will blow to tell you the wind direction. So if you've got a compass you can use that or you might be able to get an app with a compass on see what direction the wind's blowing. If you haven't got all these don't worry you can add to them as you go along. They're very easy to make and they stick very nicely in the ground and then you can fill in a sheet that says how much water, whether it says it's going to rain or not, and even if it does, and what direction the wind's blowing in. You can also tell how windy it is. If it's out here, it's very windy. If it's low down, it's not very windy at all. So it'll give you an idea as to how windy it is. And that is how you make your weather station. So enjoy everyone sending pictures of your weather station. Stay safe. If you do send in pictures, please use the hashtag play at home. See you again. Bye.